Welcome to the Jerry Graves channel. This is a channel that talks about mastering your flow, how to deal with narcissists, psychopaths, and all toxic people. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into the subject. All right, so this is the secret to solving narcissistic abuse, at least to surviving it. Um, basically, you got to get to the point where you just focus on your problems. Narcissists are the masters of causing problems. They cause problems for you. And they know that you only have so much time in the day and to actually correct these problems and to focus on them. Like it's easy to just focus on whatever you want to. You know, everybody has their own interests. You know, if you want to get on, if you get stressed out, you get on YouTube and you're watching videos and things like that, you know, that's cool. But uh, you got to be solving your problems and you got to take them seriously. And that's the hardest part about dealing with narcissism because you shouldn't have all these damn problems. You know, it should, it's like, I, I, am, am I really going to focus my whole life on dealing with BS? Like, am, am I really going to do all that or can I live? That's, that's the, the, the main problem that you have to go through is like, can I live? Can I just live? And the answer is no. The answer is no, you can't just live. Um, in this world, you're always going to be dealing with a lot of problems. A lot of people, there's, there's problems that are, that are here that have nothing to do with you. As far as their creation, they've been here before you were ever even thought of. But they're going to affect you. So at the end of the day, even those are your problems, you know. Um, now, this is something I've been struggling with. I, I, I am just like everybody else. I get stressed out and I just go into la-la land and, you know, it takes me out of everything. But um, my main thing is this. Um, yeah, I still screw up. I struggle with this. Um, even... Just recently, I kind of screwed up. <laughs> um, I should have been focusing on my uh, money and car and and things like that, like keeping everything straight. But I kind of just been in this mode where I'm just kind of relaxed. And because of the, the hurricane, I got kind of laid off for a little while, you know, until things in Florida subside, and they still haven't subsided yet. I still have problems, you know. I still have, I, I still haven't been able to get back to work, and uh, just recently, my car broke down. <laughs> I'm like, and it's 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 really a, a kind of a, a daunting task because. I don't know, I just, you know, I don't really have enough money to cover everything the way I would if I was continuously working, so I'm out of a car, and yeah, so I'm pretty much screwed right now, um, and I feel as though it's all because of the fact that I I, I kind of let my, my problems, you know, stack up I haven't been focusing on them the way I should and so I'm back in that situation again and the crazy thing is is like I have things figured out you know what I'm saying like I have things figured out to a degree where I think I'm I'm almost set um I would say financially um eventually like at some point in the near near future I have things figured out um but as of right now, it's like, man. And you know what's crazy is that there's a couple of things that I, I did to uh, to be straight, like to be straight financially, right? And I wouldn't even have to worry about this problem. But I, I kind of uh, procrastinated and then those things kind of fell apart. <laughs> and I'm like, dang, if I would only did this and this, I wouldn't even be in such a bad situation. It's just like little things you know what I'm saying and uh, basically um, yeah <laughs> so that's the situation I'm in right now 
I don't really know how I'm going to solve this problem. I feel like I'm going to eventually come out on top because I, I always do. But, uh, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty, uh, it's looking pretty bad right now. <laughs> it's looking pretty bad. So, um, yeah, my book is on sale. <laughs> so go ahead and, and buy that so that I can kind of, uh, at least buy some time, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, and eventually get my car fixed. Um, yeah, um, my PayPal, go ahead and donate whatever you can and, uh, get me out of the situation and I'll thank you and I'll pay you back a favor of your choice. Like you could ask me a favor, um, within reason. And, uh, if you make a do donation, I'll do it, you know? We'll, we'll, we'll play that game and uh yeah buy the book too buy the book too um my paypal link is going to be in the description um i should have started like a, a patreon or something I, I don't know a patreon account but uh i don't feel like i'm big enough to do that right now so i'm gonna go ahead and chill um it's but i'm always in this situation like i figure things out and it's, it's because it's because I have the time off. Like, I have time to think. So I figure stuff out, and I'm like, dang, if only things would go right, I would have everything figured out. But then things go wrong because of the fact that I, I'm off and I have all this time to think. So now everything's kind of going wrong. And I'm like, so I have things figured out because I've been thinking. But now it's like I can't even do those plans because I have this urgent plan that I, I'm, I'm trying to uh, accomplish, you know. Um, but as you guys know, I don't really have like a bunch of people that I could just go and be like, oh, well, you know, send me, you know, $200 or send me $100. You know, I don't have that. So whatever I, whenever I'm in a bad situation, it's like I have to bite the bullet. And uh, even if the bullet is almost too much for me to chew, it's like, yeah, this has changed my mindset um, for right now as far as how to handle my problems and focusing on them. Like, I learned my lesson. Um, so um, that's pretty good. I feel like it's, I, I'm never going to have that problem again. Like, I'm going to really be uh, focused on that because that's the answer. That's the answer. That's how you survive. As soon as you get to the point where you start letting stuff slip, no matter how emotional that you are, no matter what happened in your life, as soon as you start letting stuff slip, you lose. You lose this game against your your narcissistic attackers, and that's that's almost hustling. That's hustling. That's that's the streets. You know, as soon as you let things slide, as soon as you your your hustler eye grows dim, as soon as you don't have that drive to get stuff done when it needs to get done. Like I'm gonna focus on that for the next. I would say the next three months like solely that's my whole uh everything i'm gonna put everything else to the side and just focus on building that habit of getting things done right when it needs to get done that day not putting stuff off because then your life gets all tangled up and then the next thing you know it's like dang what am i gonna do now you need to depend on people and it's like you put yourself in that situation to a degree it's not all of my fault. I can't control the hurricane. I can't control all of this, you know. So I, I understand that it's my fault to the to the degree of I didn't use all of my power to uh, make sure that even if stuff happens that you can't see, you know, you still have a plan for that. You have a plan, and that's that's war. It's like you expect the unexpected. You have a plan B for even the unexpected things that might come up in a, a plan E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, you know, you have all of the plans and, uh, dude, I'm doing, I'm doing the right thing. I feel like I'm learning the lessons I need to learn. Um, I just got to get out of this, this last little situation. I feel like I'm gonna be straight as far as money goes, um, for a while, like I'm gonna be solid. Um, and that that in the end of a, ugh, and that in and of itself 
me being able to figure out my money um and, and it sounds weird that i'm saying that as i'm in a financial crisis but again it's because it's like for certain situations like you can't just get everything straightened out you know what i mean like it takes time but that immediate stuff like it's immediate you know i don't have the immediate solutions but i have solutions for the midterm that i, f I feel pretty confident in but um well, before i lose it um this is another thing that i learned i learned the fact that when you have time off like you can actually really think you know like it it, it seems like you're, you're doing all the thinking that you can when you're in the hustle and bustle of every day you're working every day it feels like you 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 have time to think like yeah i am thinking i i, I figured it out like I, I know what's going on but to have like a few days or four or five days off like i'm gonna start doing that like i'm gonna take or figure out like just taking a certain amount of time off just to think you know without having anything else in the back of my head having to get stuff done and uh this work and all these things in the back of my head and the stress and that's another thing like just being stressed out and dealing with um, narcissism and like I, I've been able to get that out of my mind and then it's just like everything's kind of opened up like where I've I'm like okay I figured stuff out um, so I think it's important to have those those times where you just because you never know what you're gonna think about I don't know so but yeah um, PayPal me hit me up let's solve this problem um, yeah I think I'm gonna be straight I promise for the next um, I don't know how many years I feel like I'm really gonna be completely set it's just this last little bump and I hate when I I get like this where I'm like dang it's like I was right there I don't want to I don't want to lose when I'm right there so yeah help me out if you can um,